of a man getting attacked by a group of people on bikes. His car swarmed at a stoplight in Third Ward. The driver speaking only with ABC 13's Jessica Willie, who's live now with the story. Yeah, Erica, the Houston police report caused this criminal mischief, but that video seems to show something more extreme. It happened last night just down the road here on South McGregor. Dozens of people on bikes seems harmless, but then it turned violent. A violent group swarming Herschel Cashin's car. It was like a, some animal. <laughs> Kicking, scratching, and breaking front and back windshields all happening so close to home. And they had a big pack in the front and a, like a trail in the back. And I was driving, but you can only drive like 15 miles an hour because of all the cyclists. And you didn't want to hit the cyclists. Near the stoplight at Scott and South McGregor, Cashin found himself in the middle of them Thursday night. And that's when they attacked. Oh. Video shows them doing damage. Someone used a brick to break the back window. One guy uses what appears to be a bike chain to break the front windshield. So they're bringing weapons into the neighborhood. Uh, that bothers me. Once home, Cashin called Houston police and surveyed the car, adding both side mirrors to the list and countless scratches and dents. I'm not looking for vengeance on him, but somebody needs to talk to some of these people cashin who once thought the mass rides were harmless has a different outlook now i mean right on the side of the street and, and maybe uh the the city council the mayor's office they need to look into it because there might need to be some restrictions on this because this has gotten to be too far going too far